I, a 24-year-old man, had a threesome with my girlfriend, who is also 24 years old, and now she wants to have sex with another person since I had sex with another woman. My girlfriend proposed the threesome in the first place. I was skeptical at first, but when I discovered she was serious, I was overjoyed. I never imagined there may be an ulterior reason. I had never known her to be bisexual or anything like that, and she still considers herself a straight female. But she appeared eager to explore and open up, as she phrased it, so I was content to follow along. The second female was a casual friend with whom we sometimes crossed paths. My girlfriend knows her better than I do, and she's the one who arranged everything up. We all appeared to enjoy the threesome. I feel compelled to bring out that it wasn't just me having sex with this other female, my girlfriend was also having sex with her and doing things with her that day. This is when things get nasty. About a week later, my girlfriend proposes a fresh idea. She asked whether she could have sex with another man now that I'd had sex with another lady. She stated it's only fair that she had sex with a male after I had sex with a lady outside of the relationship. In case there was any mistake, she recommended either an MMF threesome or just her and another man, whatever I preferred. I immediately replied no, that was out of the question. I explained to her that the threesome was for both of us, not just me, and that it wasn't just me who had sex with someone outside of our relationship, she did as well with the same person, so it's fair and equal. I said that it should not matter if the other person was having sex or not. What's more, I said that when she proposed the threesome, at no point did she suggest, mention, or imply this would mean she'd be able to try somebody else. I feel like the whole threesome was a setup so she could afterwards push the issue of having sex with another guy, and I am pretty sure she has a guy lined up in mind. It sure sounded like it, so I'm pretty obstinate about no, she can't have sex with someone else. She thinks I am being unfair and maintains the position that she should be allowed to, since I had sex with that girl in the threesome, even though she also had sex with her. I feel like I was manipulated, used, and set up. Part of me fears she's going to go and cheat with the other guy anyway, even though I said no. For this reason, I am strongly considering ending our relationship now and going our separate ways. Although personally, I'd prefer we settle this in a way without her cheating and without ending the relationship. I am not interested in an open relationship or a friends with benefits situation or anything like that. The threesome was fun, but I don't want to do that too regularly. TLDR, had a threesome with another girl and girlfriend at the girlfriend's suggestion. Girlfriend is using the threesome to now try to leverage being able to sleep with another guy. I said no since we never agreed on that in the first place, and anyway we both had sex with the girl in the threesome, not just me. Would like a way to settle this without breaking up the relationship and without her resorting to cheating on me. Update, I got a few requests for an update, so I thought I'd post one. Pretty much what everyone suggested would happen, we broke up. It wasn't nice, though honestly, I've been kind of regretting the threesome because more and more I feel like I was strongly manipulated into believing it would be just no strings fun, whereas it was actually a vehicle for her to have sex with another guy. I sat her down and said to her clearly I've been thinking about her proposition, and she can have sex with the guy if she tells me who it is and she has to be honest about it. She had this person in mind from the start when she suggested it. She became ecstatic to hear about this and told me the person was Adam. I know Adam. I've met him a few times. He works at the same place she does. I thought Adam is married. He is, I said, but he and his wife are swingers, she tells me. I then tell her, like I said, you are free to have sex with Adam as much as you want, but our relationship is over. She then freaked out at what I said, as she slowly realized I was serious and was ending the relationship out of the blue. She wasn't expecting it at all. At first, she thought I was kidding. Then she became really angry at me and started shouting and going crazy. She said all sorts of nasty things and told me I lied to her, deceived her, etc., because I had sex with another woman but won't let her have sex with another man. I told her she's free to have sex with him now because our relationship is over, and I don't want to be in a relationship with a woman who very clearly lusts after another man. I then said to her something along these lines, I feel like you manipulated me when you suggested the threesome. You said you just wanted to experiment, but you were really trying to use it as leverage so you could have sex with another man. If I had known that was your ulterior motive, I never would have agreed to it. What you did was dishonest and manipulative. Of course, she wasn't too happy to hear this. There were tears and anguish from her part, but she eventually accepted it. I started getting texts the next day from her, apologizing profusely, saying she was sorry, 
she didn't want to sleep with another man, she regrets suggesting the threesome, and she just wants to continue her relationship with me. I said to her something about us being essentially incompatible, but honestly, I felt like I was just giving her a blank excuse. The real reason was that I didn't want a woman who so desperately wanted to have sex with another guy that she would even manipulate me toward that goal. I keep getting more texts from her and missed calls, angry ones, apologetic ones, crying ones, and furious ones. Since she didn't seem to get the message that we're through, I am just ignoring her now. Honestly, I am really happy with my decision, no regrets. I feel like I've let go of some negative baggage, and I am already excited about moving on with my life and pursuing future relationships. Too long, didn't read, we broke up. You know, maybe it's because I am gay, so I had to get used to coming out of the closet over and over again. I'm kinky, so I had to get used to negotiating kinks with every single ex-partner ever. So, I just had a lot of practice at this. But even so, I look at stuff like this and wonder how people like this never think to communicate. There should have been way more talking between these two before the threesome ever happened. If it were my fiancé and me, we'd be asking questions like, are you sure you are okay with this? What if we wanted this again in the future? Do we want to set limits on how much this happens? Is this likely to affect our relationship? How are girls and guys okay, or only girls? If something goes wrong emotionally, will you tell me immediately, etc., etc.? I just don't understand why they didn't swing with Adam and his wife in the first place. Then I wonder if she ever brought up swinging to OP before. For all we know, she brought it up casually, and he shot it down without even knowing that she was feeling him out, so she went this route. Or maybe there's another timeline where she brings up swinging, and he accepts, and they go swing, and then he has to put up a post saying that she's pregnant now, and he doesn't know if it's his or Adam's, and what should he do? Maybe she's not attracted to the wife, or she's threatened by slash jealous of the wife, or the wife only likes to swing with other females and not males, that's how I was. Or maybe she's lying about the swinging to manipulate OP. When someone posted, do keep in mind for things like this that if you're willing to have a threesome with your girlfriend and another girl, you should also be willing to do it with GF and another guy, otherwise, it's a bit hypocritical in my opinion. OP responded with, it's not at all hypocritical. Here's why, in the threesome with me, my GF, and the other girl, not only did I have sex with the other girl, but so did my GF. My GF had sex with someone else, I had sex with someone else. In a threesome with another guy, I would not have sex with another guy, nor do I want to. So, it would be me having sex with my girlfriend and my girlfriend having sex with me, 